Hi, this is Gina. Welcome back to Tight Chip Mama. Today I am going to do a zero dollar pantry makeover for you. And what I want you to do is go on Pinterest and look at pantries and just see how beautiful everything is. And what I bet you haven't really picked up on before is the fact that you will not see any labels or brands or advertising. This is something I'm going to talk about in other videos as the years progress, but it's just like an underlying hum in our culture that everywhere we look, we are being shown a logo or a label or they're trying to sell us something. And that's what we're drawn to when we see those beautiful kitchens on Pinterest. They don't have that. So very first thing is if you can get rid of all the packaging and start putting stuff into jars or canisters or whatever you have. If you were on baby steps one, two, or three, I do not want you spending any money on this, especially because you might evolve in how you eat or what you're shopping for, and you don't want to go buying these big, huge containers only to find out that in a month, that's not how you really want to shop. So it's better to just take your time, make sure you're paying with cash, and live with what you've got until you really know what you need. And then you can jot down the sizes of the packages of rice, and then you can go buy a jar that fits that size accordingly. But most of this stuff I have acquired over time, and if I know where I bought it, I will try to link it below. But a lot of it is just stuff that had food in it originally. These jars, uh, my in-laws buy homemade spaghetti sauce, and they come in these beautiful bell jars, and I just asked to keep them because they're a little bit bigger than what I have. So I label them and voila, there we go. They're beautiful. This is granola. And I had a little bit extra granola that I didn't want to use up this morning or throw away. So I just shoved it in some milk glass. This was a thrifted item from years ago. I probably paid less than $2 for this. Just get rid of the packaging. You'll see this. Um, if you can't find a new container, just turn it around so you don't have to look at that label. That's all. It'll just be so pleasing to the eye to do this. Here's a fun little thing I did. I love brass. So I have this little planter that I thrifted over the summer and I've never used it. It's just been sitting around. But I had some extra sizes of things. Jello. I have one recipe that I make pudding and that goes in there. Some tapioca for a random recipe. I don't know. But I'm not going to throw that stuff away. It's still good. So I just tucked it in here and I think it's so pretty. And now when I open my cabinets, I'm going to see that. I did that several times. Up here is another thrifted bowl that I got. And there's some packages that are not quite empty. So they're up in there. One of the things I was able to do when I decluttered was I actually freed up these shelves entirely. So I was able to clean out a Lazy Susan cabinet and put this stuff in here. And again, it's just my milk jars and these are my pie plates. I really don't make pies. They're for my mother-in-law when she comes and makes pies. So she'll have to find these in here. But in the meantime, I'm just going to store more food in there and it freed up a whole cabinet for me to um, keep my bowls and other things like that. So I'm going to start the video now and if you enjoy this type of thing, please hit subscribe. My name is Gina. This is Tight Chip Mama. I make a new video every Monday on decluttering, getting out of debt, meal planning, implementing routines, and a little personal development. Enjoy. Here's the before picture of my pantry. Not horrible, but definitely needs some tidying up and there's a lot of packaging and a lot of labels staring at me. The first thing you want to do when you're decluttering your pantry is to take everything out. You'd be surprised at how much stuff you have in that pantry. This took me about an hour and a half and you can see I had a side-by-side -side pantry. But if you have a walk-in, you can probably plan on more like four to maybe even five hours. Here's everything cleaned out. And I'm just gonna give every shelf a vacuum and a good scrubbing. 
once everything is clean, start putting stuff back in. And I start with the easy stuff like canned goods because I don't have to do anything as far as the labeling goes. And I am not going to be buying this many beans anymore at Costco. This is cereal packaging and that's on the very top shelf. There's a lot of wasted space in the back so I'm going to start using that for the leftover bulk items that I don't have containers for. I do own some containers so it's just a matter of filling them all the way to the top and trying to get rid of the packaging if I can. But I'm not going to be buying this much rice anymore. I'm going to continue just filling the jars that I already own with the food that I have bought for those jars. I had a little bit of pistachios left over that didn't fit into the jar. So I'm just going to pour those into a bowl and put them on the counter and hopefully people will enjoy them as they walk past throughout the week and I can get rid of those. Being disorganized costs you money. I found this whole other bag of pistachios when I was done filling the jars. Didn't need to buy that other bag I bought today. In the spirit of using what I already own, I'm going to pour this oatmeal into the cereal container. Do your kids leave one pretzel left? Well, mine did. And as I was about to throw this away, I thought, hey, I could use that. So I peeled off the label, gave it a good scrubbing, and I dumped some pasta that I had in there, and I could probably fit another box in there as well. Remember, it doesn't have to cost a penny to tidy up, declutter, and clean up your space to make it beautiful. Have a great week, and I will see you next Monday.